What's up guys, it's Trevor with Embers. We're in the new kitchen today, giving you an awesome review of one of the new appliances in here. Today we're reviewing the $2,500 wine dispenser. What, $2,500 on a wine dispenser? What does it dispense? Wine made of solid gold? Bad joke. All right, let's get started. All right, first things first, if you're in the Colorado, um, Denver Metro area, come to our showroom. You can see all these awesome luxury products in our kitchen for yourself. Um, if you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe. It helps us out a ton when you guys do that. All right, what the heck is a $2,500 wine dispenser and why the heck do you need it? Well, this is the Plum Wine Dispenser. You can see that we have it built in and it does come with this cool trim kit so you can build it into your cabinetry. But here's the good news. If you are uh, already have your kitchen done and your cabinets are done, and you can't want to buy something like this, but you can't build it in, no problem. It can be installed on a countertop or built in. And what's really cool is it has like a nice brush stainless finish around the edging. So it's going to look nice and finished sitting on your countertop. So that's not going to be a problem. Okay. So why the heck would you spend 2,500 bucks on this? And what the heck does it do? Well, if you're like me uh, and you're trying to enjoy a bottle of wine, uh, maybe, uh, yourself and your wife or whatever the case may be, you could probably, two people could probably get through a bottle of wine. That's, that's a couple glasses, but maybe you want to dip into a second one and you just want to have one glass or something like that. Uh, and you don't want to open up a whole new bottle and put it in the fridge and then it's going to age or, or set it on the countertop and it's not going to age well. There's contraptions and stuff you can buy. So basically what this thing does is preserves your wine for up to 90 days. Now, if you can't get through a bottle of wine in 90 days, I'm pretty sure this, this dispenser isn't for you anyway. So just pump the brakes a little bit there. But it is nice if you're doing like an event, like we do events here at the showroom or you're having a party, you always have a fresh bottle on tap, but it does so much more than preserve the wine. I'm gonna show you how it does it here in a minute. It also is gonna aerate. How do I say that, Chris? Aerate, aerate. You guys are gonna correct me at home anyways, you trolls out there. Just, just I'm gonna get jump out in front of you. You correct me the right way. So what's cool is the second you put it in there, you don't have to put it in a decanter or something or let it breathe. The second it's in here, it's ready to go for all you wine connoisseurs out there. Not that I let it sit like I should, but if you have a nice fancy bottle, um, it's pretty cool that it's, you can serve it instantly. Okay, so let's open it up and show you how this stinking thing works. So we're gonna click bottle. Now you can see, it's gonna warn you, we want a natural cork or a screw top. You leave the cork in, you would remove wax or glass. So let's find what we want to drink here. All right, so the way we're gonna do it is you, you have two bottle slots. You can do a red, two reds, two whites, red and a white, you know, whatever you, whatever you feel like. Let's try a white and a red. So let's try the Rombauer. Rombauer, Rombauer. This is like my favorite Chardonnay right here. It's absolutely delicious. Let's try that and let's find a good red in here. So we got Dow, we have our Napa Valley Heston's or we got a nice J. Lore from Paso. Let's go with, the Meyer Vineyards Napa Valley Cabernet. So we're gonna do one red and one white. All right, so we have our red and a white. Now we're gonna put them in. Word of caution is, let's say you put a white on this side and then you put a red on this side. You probably like right after a red's empty, don't want to put a white in here if you're powering through wine, if you're having a gathering or something, because that first pour, that red's going to mix in through the line. So there's a way you can purge the lines. It comes with a cleaner, like an empty water bottle that you would fill up with water and put in here and then cycle it through. But that's kind of a pain. So I would generally stick to one side or the other as you, uh, uh, if you're cycling through wine for an event or something. All right, so let's put our red over here. What we're gonna do, so you can see, we don't take off the foil or the cork or anything. And I'll show you why in a second. But essentially it has a needle in there that's gonna pierce the wine. So let's just see what happens when we put in our red. So now here's what's really cool about it, is it's identifying the wine. So it's gonna read the label and it's gonna understand what type of wine it is and then it's also gonna set the temperature appropriately based off of the recommended temperature that you want a Cabernet at. So we put a Cabernet in there 
and it's gonna, it's just gonna automatically do its thing. So it's tapping now. So what it's doing is driving a needle into that cork. So no oxygen is in there. And then what's really cool is you can see right here, we have our argon gas container. So this guy uses those gases in there to substitute and help preserve the wine or substitute the oxygen, I should say. So that way there's no oxygen disturbing it. And it's also gonna aerate the wine as well. So basically you're instantly ready for a pour. So you can see all it's doing is just driving that needle in there and then identifying it and we'll be ready to roll. All right, Chris, so you can see it took a picture of the label says Meyer Vineyards Napa Valley Cabernet. So let's click details, just matching the wine. So you can see here, it set the temperature, it preset the temperature at 55, and we can auto adjust that if we want to. So now let's just try a little pour. So we'll touch here, let's rinse. That's for any sediment that might get in there from the initial corkage, not corkage, but the way it opens it. All right, so now we can click here and we can do a one ounce taster or a five ounce glass and you can adjust the settings in there. And also what's cool is it tells you how many ounces are remaining in the bottle. So let's just do a one ounce taster. Put that under here. All right, so it gave us an ounce. And you can see it's nice and bubbly. So it's ready to drink. Now I'm no connoisseur, so I'm not gonna be able to tell you if it in fact did its job. but it's delicious, so tastes good to me. All right, let's try to add another one. So let's add a bottle on the right side. Now you can see this time the light is lit up on this side. So it knows we, we're trying to add a bottle here. Isn't that cool? You don't have to take off your foil or anything. All right, let's put in the Chardonnay. Let's see what happens here. So now we're gonna close it. And again, just let it do its thing. Okay, so you can see it took a picture of our Rumbauer. So you can see it put in all the data. Now what's cool is it told us the type of wine it is, where it's from, where they're located, and the year of the wine. Now here's what's really cool, is there's over 200 vineyards preloaded into this guy. So it can automatically recognize, you know, however many vineyards that are in here. And you see it set our temperature to 54. I personally like my white wine colder. So it's gonna let us go down to 46. I personally like it even colder than that. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna set the temperature at 46. And now let's try to pour our white wine. Again, we gotta go through our rinse cycle. That was a big rinse. But again, you see how aerated that, that sucker is. Turn it into champagne. All right, let's do a one ounce pour of this. So there it is, again. Oh yeah, that's quite nice. That's quite nice, that's my favorite white wine right now. All right. And then when you want to remove a bottle, um, it'll give you the, they'll cue you up to remove it when your ounces are running low. And then this is what it looks like if you're curious. Isn't that cool looking? So you can see the needle just drives into that and then it kind of does the rest. It's really, really cool. And what's cool too is you can tell us, it's, you can see it tells us how many ounces we have remaining in each bottle. So that's also really cool. And so this is the plum kit. Now it's cool as far as servicing. So here's all of our, our settings and everything in here. If we need maintenance, we can click on maintenance. Sometimes you have to purge the line. If it's dripping, you just do that. Because when it's, when it's fresh, it's gonna have a lot of uh, pressure in it and it could drip a little bit. So you just drip it, kind of purge the line out and you're ready to roll. Now what else is cool is um, they have a really good service center and then this thing is also connected to Wi-Fi. So it's gonna have Wi-Fi controls in it. That's really more for servicing than anything. So that's the plum kit. Again, you can do it with or without the trim kit. You can do it counter-mounted, but if you're in a commercial kitchen or even a, a really cool house or you just love wine and it's something you want, it's a must. 
It's definitely awesome if you're a wine drinker. I personally love it. We use it here all the time in our new kitchen because we're doing events and stuff all the time. So this is the Plum Wine Dispenser. Stay tuned for more awesome luxury kitchen videos. We'll see you guys next time.